Hey everyone, this is our last video for Demon Souls. It is featuring the last thing that you can do to beat the game or to get through the storyline. Uh, and also there are the credits, of course. Just want to point out that this is a cutscene that you are going to see when you come back to the Nexus after beating Old King Alant. But this is a course of action that I took because I didn't actually understand what I was supposed to do. And so this is something that you do not want to do. Now ultimately you are going to go down this hole here that is opened up in the middle. But what you do not want to do is just to leap down without talking to the main in black first. Because if you do that, what will happen is basically nothing. You will just die as if you have fallen down a great pit uh, in any other situation. So uh, if you see the nice red letters right there, it will inform you that you have died, and that will happen to you too if you aren't careful. So what you're supposed to do is talk to the maiden in black, and she will tell you that the old one wants to talk to us, he's calling for us, and that we should go down together. So when you're ready to do that, uh, go ahead and talk to her, and you both will... Uh, leap down into the hole and it will engage in a cutscene and then that will prompt you into action. So here is the cutscene where you can see that you and the maiden in the black will hop down and hopefully you'll do it a little more elegantly than we did but she'll go ahead and guide you down there and she will introduce you to the old one and you will get to talk to her uh, or well she will really talk at you and she will talk to the old one and you will get to fight a I guess technically it would be the final boss he's extremely easy uh, and then you will go through to the end of the storyline and then we'll have the credits so this is pretty much uh, a time-consuming video more than anything with all the cutscenes and the graphics and everything that they've got going on um, just a quick mention here while there's uh, some time here. Uh, we do have our capture card and replacement one that is not defective. It is working very well. We have started a new playlist uh, to show you that we can upload in HD quality now, which is really exciting to us. So if you are uh, able to suggest some games to us that we could do as a Let's Play uh, playlist after this, we already have a game picked out next, but if you'd like to see one after that, then just let us know, and we would be very excited to start recording more and more games in HD for you. But uh, anyways, having said that, here is the old one. Um, he is, uh, well, this is basically a giant tree, and uh, the old one is uh, kind of hard to pin down here, but you'll see this, and your goal is to go inside and fight the final boss, and then uh, the main in black will give you further instructions after that. So. Uh, the Maiden in Black kind of uh, brings out some plot twists here about uh, the things that are going on here and all these demons that you've been fighting and trying to get rid of so you can save the world um, kind of backfires on you here, but anyways, uh, for the most part, uh, a lot of this is going to be just cutscenes. And so I'm going to uh, just give some comments when you actually go inside and you fight the very easy and very quick the last boss battle, uh, and after that we'll be able to just go through and I will quit talking <laughs> and uh, let you go ahead and watch the cutscene. So this will be a very quick. So what you do here after the somewhat long cutscene is over is just go straight through into that gaping tunnel there, the tunnel of the mouth, and uh, you'd want to not be so hesitant like I was, but I was just kind of taking it in because this was all new to me, and I didn't know what to expect, but there uh, there she is, right there, standing there, uh, the maiden in black, and so poke your way over there and go speak to her, and uh, she won't tell you anything too informative. Basically, she'll just tell you to go inside, uh, and once you do that, then you'll face, of course, as I said before, you'll face the little boss. So uh, what you can expect for this final boss is to go in and beat it to a pulp, uh, so to speak, and that's it. He won't really fight back. You can just hack and slash your way through the branches here, roll through, and he will uh, drop down, uh, and he'll be there waiting for you to take him out. And he won't put up much of a fight at all, so it's almost like he wants you to uh, beat him up there. But uh, This is the very last part of Demon's Souls, and... Um, Looking back at it, it was very frustrating for me, but I kind of liked the game as a whole, and the ending took me by surprise. I was very frustrated at the ending, and you may be too if you have ever played all the way through and found out that all of the work that you've done before uh, was uh, uh, taking an unexpected turn in the end. But here is uh, apparently King Alot, and um, he is looking very regal there in his helpless state, 
and you can just go in and take him out. I chose to take him out with range, and that is all you have to do. You just have to uh, suffer through his narrative and hack down at his HP until there's nothing left of him. And it goes very quickly and very easily because he doesn't fight you at all, so there's nothing to dodge really, there's nothing that you need to do other than to just continue to be down on his HP uh, until there's nothing left. And so, uh, having done this, we will proceed into some more cutscenes, and I'll go ahead and I will quit narrating for the most part until we get to the very end after these cutscenes, uh, and then we'll continue from there. One quick thing before that, though, is that of course we pick up the Soul Brand here, which is a nifty weapon, and then we trigger one final choice here that you can do uh, at the very end here for the cutscene. So, uh, what happens here is the Maiden in Black will come out, and she will give us some interesting info, some instructions, and she will basically tell us that we're done, that we've done our work, that we've served our purpose, and that we can go back to the Nexus, we're free to go, uh, the Nexus won't imprison us, as she says, and that will be it for us. So. The there's two things that we can do. One is we can follow her every word, and she's helped us so far, so why not? And we can listen to her and take her word that we are free and that we won't be prisoners of the Nexus and of this stupid world anymore and that we can go on and live our lives. Uh, the other thing that we can do is wipe her out while she is busy lulling the old one back into slumber. So we can, uh, while her back is turned, betray her, so to speak, and uh, hack her to pieces and kill her. Now that's not advisable. You get uh, unlimited power and you become very strong and you get all these souls, but you also destroy the world and bring everything that you've done so far to a moot point in the game. So if you want to go that route, uh, it's up to you. You can. But the other thing that you can do is listen to her and go back to our world, uh, go back to the Nexus, uh, go outside and just leave her alone uh, and be done with it. And that will bring us to a nicer conclusion to the game. You can kind of see that I was thinking about uh, taking her out, but I chose not to, um, just to see what would happen. So. Uh, that's pretty much it for the Maiden in Black. She's all happy that you have left her to fulfill her duty, uh, whatever that was, which was not very clear in the game, but uh, you can go ahead and leave. There will be nothing to stop you. If you choose to do that, you'll be able to go outside and take a last look at the old one in a cutscene, and then that will pretty much be it until at the end of the credits where you can see the results of letting the Maiden in Black live. So going out here, uh, the cutscene gives us a nice view of the outside of the old one, in case you didn't get a glimpse of that before. Um, very nice concept art here, some nice details, um, beautiful exterior here for the old one, but there's a narrative saying that uh, basically the old one and the maiden in black went back to sleep in the fog, and now you know, saved the world, uh, saved everybody from the demons, but now you're naive and you're weak and you don't know anything about the arts anymore. Uh, and then, you know, everything kind of was supposed to go back to normal, except that people that were gone were gone forever, so. Um, kind of is basically saying that everything went back to the way it was before, which was nice in theory, but uh, as you'll see after the credits, uh, it was not so nice as an end result when you like to actually advance and make progress and uh, you find out that it didn't turn out quite like you thought. But anyways, um, after this cutscene will be the credits, and then I will uh, continue the commentary afterwards and show you what happens next. So enjoy the credits, enjoy the cutscenes, and uh, we'll continue on in just a few minutes.
Alright, so here is the final cutscene, which will reveal to you the ending of Demon's Souls, if you take what I guess is the good route. If you take what is the nice way, and you leave the Maiden in Black alone, and you go back to the Nexus, and you leave the old one. So, uh, it was uh, really breathtaking to me to listen to the song that was on the cutscenes, uh, the credits at the end, so I included that in there. But here is a cutscene showing um, kind of something that might be a little familiar to uh, players that have just started. And you can see uh, what you were last wearing, uh, and it will pick up where you left off, but everything will be fresh, uh, and the Maiden in Black will be reintroduced to you, uh, kind of as it was at the beginning. It uh, rewinds and starts over, so everything is as it was before, uh, just like it said. So I was actually really upset when I saw this, um, because I had been played, <laughs> more or less, that's what had happened. I had gone through all of that and beaten the game and suffered through the frustration, only to be shown that it had all come to nothing and that everything was like it was in the beginning. So, uh, And I found out that it really was because um, the guy that had disappeared before, uh, the guy glowing blue there, uh, he is there again, uh, and he says the same thing that he says in the beginning, and so it was a rude shock to me when I realized that we were back uh, as if in the beginning of the game. So this would be considered a new game plus, NG plus, and you would be, uh, you know, one that has beaten the game, and you can go through uh, and do it all over again if you so choose. Uh, note that if you are going to do a new game plus, that things will be significantly harder, so I would strongly advise, if possible, that you go through with somebody to help you, as uh, Kuro and I did, and we worked together. Uh, find somebody that can do that with you, because new game plus is just no fun, unless you're very experienced or stubborn. Uh, so. You can see here everything is pretty much like it was before, uh, except for the things that you have. And if you have any messages down like I did, they will be there waiting for you just like it was before. So that's it. We have finished Demon Souls. We have gone through the good route, and then that is it for us. Uh, for this game, for now. We may do it again in the future, we're not sure, but for now we are done. So. We are finished with Demon Souls. Thank you to everybody who helped us with boss fights, was going through levels. Uh, thank you again. And we'll post more info on our Tumblr about what we will be doing next for our Let's Play series. By the way, we do have our capture card now. We've started a new playlist with it and everything, as I said before. Uh, check that out and leave us some comments. Please like and subscribe us. Check out our Tumblr, follow it, and stay up to date with the things that we'll be doing in the future very soon. So we're also looking at a Facebook or Twitter. If you use any one of those more than the other, please let us know so we can hit that first. And then again, thank you to everybody. We'll see you later this week with our classic captures, and we'll continue to be posting now some HD videos in the future. So we will see you later this week. Thank you for watching. Thanks for making it through Demon Souls with us, and we will see you later.